Today we are going to make a cute little penguin that looks like this. Here we go. So you're going to need crayon, you're going to need a marker, you're going to need a pencil with a good eraser of course. Once you have these things, take your paper and we're going to make our reference lines again. So fold it in half and then half again. So here is my paper, here is my center point. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a soft little U and again, whisper drawing to start the scarf. So the scarf then comes straight down, straight down, and now I'm going to attach it together. Here is my scarf and I'm going to try to whisper draw. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the head of my uh, penguin. So it's going to come up and it's going to come up in this nice little U shape here and come down and around. And I don't like how I did that. So I'm just going to erase, come down and then a little bit around for his fat little cheeks. After this, I'm going to go ahead and do the outline of his face, the part that's going to be black. So I'm going to come up, and now I'm going to make round eyes coming down through the middle. A nose here, which is almost round, and then going up and following it up and trying to have it symmetrical. And I can see on this side isn't quite symmetrical, but that's okay. Come down and then down here. And since it's not quite symmetrical, I'm going to go ahead and just erase a little bit and make it so that it's a little bit more symmetrical. Coming down here. And coming up, there we go. That's a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her eyes. So right here in the middle, pretty big eyes, nice and round. And up here is where you're going to be looking up so I'm going to put the eyes up here and underneath here is sort of the cheeks like that. And now I want to work on the body. So the body is going to come down nice round little tummy here and then up again that U shape. I'm going to trace that U shape down here like that. And out is going to be the stubby little arms. And going to make it symmetrical. So on the other side, the stubby little arm as well. And down here is going to be a stubby little feet. Coming down and three toes like that. Same thing over on this side. Three toes, one toe, two toe, three toes. And now I'm going to go ahead and work on his hat. So the hat comes up here and I'm going to follow it all the way around to this side. And this is going to be the top of the hat with a little pom-pom up here. Like so. And this part is the ribbing of the hat. There is the ribbing of the hat. 
so that you know it is the hat and it's actually going to come down a little bit further here. I will erase those extra little lines on my hat. And for the scarf, I'm just going to make a round piece coming down here. So this is the end of the scarf, like this. And I'm going to make the other part of it coming down here. If I want, I could even make some tassels coming down here, sort of like this. That way you know it's the scarf, sort of like this. And I'm going to get rid of these extra, these extra lines. And so here you have, <clears throat> it does not have a mouth either. So here you have what is looking like our, um, our penguin. And right about in the middle is I'm going to put this snow line and a snow line over here. So we have snow here, sky is going to be here. And I'm also going to do just a little cloud, I think. Little cloud coming. Here's the cloud, and the sun's coming out of the cloud. Do I want the sun? Or maybe some snow coming down. Maybe I'm gonna have some snow coming down, so maybe I'm gonna want some more clouds. Okay, so there's some more clouds now. And I am about ready to use marker. Since I drew this with pencil and I use whisper drawing, I can change any pencil marks that I want. And that's what you can see I was doing with the hat. Now I'm going to go with Sharpie and go over all the pencil lines that I have. I'm here starting on the face and going over the eyes. With the eyes, I didn't do such a good job going over with a Sharpie. You should try to keep a white pupil. That will stand out a little bit. In my version, I did not keep the white pupil, and that was too bad. But anyway, go over all the pencil with Sharpie. Make sure you do the clouds and the entire body of the penguin. Be sure to erase any stray pencil marks. And again, that's the advantage of, of using a pencil and whisper drawing because then it's ready to color. Start with the body and the black body of the penguin. And of course, the middle of the body and also parts of the face are going to stay white. And so you are going to leave them alone. Don't put anything um, on, on them. The scarf, I am going to do um, red with a yellow nose. And you can see if you look at the eye right now, it just looks completely black and there should be a white mark in there. But so be it. It's done and I'm not going to be able to change it. The feet are orange. The hat I'm making green. You can of course make the hat, the scarf, any color you would like at all. And I'm putting the rosy, rosy little cheeks as well. And so now I'm going to the, um, the background color. And the background color is this blue and I um, am going to try to put in some snow, but when I tried to put the white for the snow, it just didn't come out. So I'm going to just leave the background blue because the snow you cannot see at all. And there you have the world's cutest little penguin.